Hello friends, today our guest is Gigabyte Radeon R9 Fury X, a top great graphics card from AMD with 40 coolant system. We continue our review on current leading graphics cards from AMD based on Graphics Core Fiji and we shall consider the top end graphics adapter AMD Radeon R9 Fury X. Unlike the previously discussed R9 Fury, the tested model as well as R9 Nano got the maximum version of Graphics Core AMD Fiji, which includes 496 stream processors, 256 texture units and 64 rasterization modules. If we compare R9 Fury X with R9 Nano, we will see the increased GPU frequency by 50 MHz and the increased TDP rate 275 vs 170. The final comparative table of all the three cards is as follows. In addition, we shall remind you that you can find the detailed description of AMD Fiji features in AMD Radeon R9 Nano Review. Well, in the meantime, we shall start directly with overview of Radeon R9 Fury X. The card comes in a rather large and spacious box, which is not surprising taking into account the water cooling system supplied. The graphics adapter supply set includes only a standard kit of accessories, such as documentation and a CD with software. There are no adapters available in the box. The key benefits of Gigabyte Radeon R9 Fury X should definitely include its compact dimensions, due to which you won't face any difficulties with installation, even in relatively small cases, assuming that there is a seat for a water cooling radiator. In addition, we shall highlight the easily knowable and stylish design of dark colors, which is perfectly complemented with the red logo and the soft touch coating of the top cover of the cooler. The reverse side is covered with a base plate, which has stickers with the appropriate service information. By the way, there is a small switch, which is designed for activation and control on diagnostic backlight, implemented by means of 9 LEDs close to the power connectors. This switch can disable the backlight as well as can change its color from red to blue. Another toggle provides switching between the BIOS firmware, made and reverse. It is located near the lighted red logo radion. Two 8-pin PCIe connectors are located on the board's side to provide additional power supply to the graphics adapter. The cooling system doesn't hinder their access, which promotes convenient connecting and disconnecting power cables. The tested model is based on GPU AMD Fiji XT produced on 28nm technological process. It includes 496 stream processors, 64 rasterization units and 256 texture units. The graphics processor frequency corresponds to the reference of 1050 MHz. The memory with a total capacity of 4 GB is assembled with 4 HBM chips from SK Hynix, which operate at an effective frequency of 1000 MHz. The data exchange between the graphics processor and the memory is implemented through the 496-bit bus, which has the bandwidth of 512 GB per second. Image displaying is implemented by means of the reference set of interfaces. The manufacturer is fairly reasonable to exclude analog video output in the top-end graphics card. As for the DVI, then, it was a problem to locate it on the board because of the implemented coolant system, so you will have to purchase an appropriate adapter if required. The cooling system of the model from Gigabyte is a closed circuit. Two connection hoses for fluid circulation and the power cable come out from the adapter case. Inside they are connected to the pump combined with a water unit, which is mounted on an aluminum plate covering the printed circuit board. A massive radiator is used for cooling the refrigerant. An active component of this construction is an axial fan of 120 mm and with blades of 111 mm in diameter. The width of the radiator with the installed propeller is 64 mm. 
in automatic mode under the maximum load the graphics score heated up to 64 degrees while the cooler operated by 9% of its peak power. The noise level was very quiet and absolutely comfortable. Just for comparison let us remind that a rather oversized cooler with three fans mounted on Gigabyte Radeon R9 Fury Windforce 3X OC was able to cool Fiji Pro, working at lower frequencies up to 69 degrees. When there is no load, the water cooling system doesn't switch to passive mode and continues its operation. In this case, the graphics core temperature does not exceed 25 degrees. In addition, we should also mention that occasionally you could hear a high-frequency noise of chokes. This is not very pleasant, but is not very critical. As a result, implementation of a water cooling system on AMD Radeon R9 Fury X is a fairly reasonable choice, as it copes well with the GPU cooling and is very quiet during daily use. Firstly, let's compare results of models from Gigabyte R9 Fury X with R9 Fury. If you consider the average of all the tests, then Fury X version got ahead by 8.6%. In the same test, excluding 4K Ultra HD, the gap decreased up to 7.8%. In this case, the leadership of our hero is not surprising, because it has the complete version of AMD Fiji and the high GPU frequency. As expected, model AMD Radeon R9 390X was not able to compete with the Gigabyte Radeon R9 Fury X and lost it about 13.4%, or 10.5% if we exclude 4K Ultra HD. Although, if you take into consideration the difference in cost of these two graphics cards, then such the advantage doesn't seem so impressive. As for the models from NVIDIA, namely JTX 980 and 980 Ti, the first one gave way about 2% in all the tests, although its performance proved to be better by an average of 2%, excluding 4K Ultra HD. In its stand, JTX 980 Ti remained the true leader of our testing and got ahead of R9 Fury X by an average of 29.4% in all the tests. As a result, AMD Radeon R9 Fury X is a very controversial video card in terms of price and performance, because you have no problems to buy cheaper GeForce TTX 980 Ti. Also, energy consumption of the leading model from AMD did not show the best results. At the maximum load, the system consumed impressive 527 watts, and JTX 980 Ti has this rate lower by 83 watts. By using MCI Afterburner 4.2.0 utility and without raising the voltage, we managed to increase the GPU clock frequency of AMD Fiji XT by 87 MHz, a gain of just over 8%. At the same time, the video memory speed remained the same. During the overclocking, the fan speed was possibly fixed at the maximum level. The temperature of the GPU even during the overclocking did not exceed 44 degrees. This shows the excellent safety margin of the implemented water cooling system. Finally, we managed to achieve an average growth of 4.5% or from 2 to 4 FPS in games, which is not such a significant result. Moreover, it doesn't promote the gap reduction from GeForce ATX 980 Ti. During the testing, graphics card AMD Radeon R9 Fury X proved to be a controversial solution, mainly due to its high cost in conjunction with not the highest performance in its price range. It can be recommended for buying only in case if you are deliberately looking for a high-performance small-sized model with a water cooling system supplied, or if you are a fan of AMD products and you wish to have the most powerful solution on the GPU of this company. In all the other cases, you'd better consider buying GeForce JTX 980, which has almost the same performance level. And if you wish to have a top performance model, then we recommend you waiting for the new products from NVIDIA, while the most impatient users have now the chance to purchase GeForce 1080 Founders Edition. As a result, the sole advantage of AMD Radeon R9 Fury X is its water cooling system only. It made a pleasant impression due to the low noise level and high efficiency. Best regards to you and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye.